Hey guys, it's Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. I recently answered a question on Reddit about how to create a gradient with transparency. And thus, a tutorial was born. Yeah. Now, let me introduce to y'all as the one son of a musician refused to fall. I have a new document open. It's 1920 by 1080, but that doesn't really matter for this tutorial. I'm just going to show you some about the gradient tool. So first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle because I just want to give us a little bit of a background. I'm going to only go about half the page here. Uh, Oh, perfect. It's already a gradient. I want that to be more of like a steel blue color. I'm going to go ahead and lock that in with command two, and then I'm going to create a circle and this circle. We're going to apply our gradient to, I'm going to hold shift to keep it as a perfect circle, let go. And then let's change that color. We're going to change it to, Oh, this little orange I've got set up. This tutorial is about creating a gradient with transparency. We have our circle selected. Come over here to the gradient panel. Uh, if you don't see it, go to window and then drop down to gradient. It's also command F9. Once I'm in this panel, I can see the uh, colors that I currently have, my fill and my stroke. And then I have some, some little gradients here. And these guys I can click on to apply the gradient to the fill of my shape. And so if I click on that, you see my fill changes to that gradient color. And right now we have it set up as a white to a black gradient. Imagine this reading left to right. So the white is going to be where our gradient starts and the black is going to be where our gradient ends. Now what a lot of people do, and this is a question that I had on Reddit, is they had this first gradient set up to be the color that they wanted it to be. So we had the orange originally, so we're going to click on that and we're going to change it to orange. And I double clicked on this to get there. But when they were trying to create this transparency, they didn't change this color over here. So instead, what they did was they just dropped that to zero. And what that does is it creates this orange to muddy sort of orange to transparent zero. This is a, not a good way to create a one color gradient because what's happening is illustrators actually saying, okay, you want to go from orange to black. So in between here, before we get to completely transparent, I'm going to add a little bit of black into that color. If you want to go just from orange to transparency, you need to make sure you change this color to orange. So it's like a one color gradient. You've got orange to orange, but this second one is 0% opacity. Now after that, you can change the type, you can change the angle and all those things. But this is just the basic concept of how to create gradient with transparency. And you can see the transparency. If I just bring it over here, it pulls in the white color from the background until it hits that blue. And then we start to pull in that blue color. And if I move this orange all the way over there, you'll see just how opaque it is on the left side and how transparent it is on the right side. Now you can of course add multiple layers to this. So if I go back into that gradient panel, I could actually bring this orange. This is that transparent orange over here. And then I could add another color at the end of this and change this to be 100% opacity again. Now my gradient is going to have this transparent orange in the center of it. And then it's going to be a hundred percent on either side of it. And so that's how you create gradients with transparency. You can add multiple different colors, uh, multiple different opacity levels in there. Uh, it's pretty easy, but I just wanted to make you aware that if you're trying to create just a one color gradient with that transparency to make sure you have that same color selected, you don't just have that color and then a black transparent. That's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you all learned something. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.